And this is the other one. These are lava rocks. They are not um, regular rocks. It's not mulch. It's not white rocks either. But they put lava rocks out because that's what my mom wanted. Um, again, this is the plant on the other side of the door. And I'm not sure if you can see this. But it is bare in the center. It was all that was full. It had beautiful flowers on it and stuff. But um, yeah, we got freckles and it's yellow and green instead of green and white. And I don't know if that's just because it's South Carolina climate change or I'm not exactly sure where these came from when they were shipped to us. Um, but we did put them in the ground as soon as we got them. Um, the other plant was on this side that my mother had purchased before and it died. So I'm trying to do everything I can not to let them die. Um, so yeah, if there's anybody out there that knows anything about these plants, if you can just, you know, make some comments down below, help me out uh, to make sure that they're growing good. Um, that way they're still beautiful and they'll grow back strong. Um, I don't know what to do now. Um, she spent a lot of money on them, obviously, and I believe that if you spend that kind of money, you really should take good care of them. And I've been doing everything I can that I know of, you know, watering them every single day. I'm not sure if I am need to water them twice a day or what, but if anybody can give me any help, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Dana, by the way. Uh, we live again in Columbia, South Carolina, and these are Wagila plants, which aren't doing very well. So if somebody can give me some help, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, and y'all got you guys have a great day. Bye.